Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you once again with some more Project Zomboy. We continue where we last left off. Currently, we're on uh, version 29.2. They did patch some uh, bugs that they found with the uh, release of 29. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and play this one here. Alright. There weren't too many bugs, though, so they're doing, uh, they're doing pretty good with that. Converting world to new version. Oh, great. Now it's going to take some time again. Uh, now, anyway, of course, as always, yesterday there was a Mundroid post. And uh, this time it was actually quite interesting, to say the least. It was uh, concerning the author, or I should say, well, what am I going to call the guy? The modder of the Erosion mod. Either way. <laughs> Uh, anywho, and it was talking about uh, their work with him and how they're trying to integrate uh, the Erosion mod into the game along with seasons and stuff like that. And it was a really interesting uh, blog post, I have to say. So you should definitely check it out. And close those curtains there. Alright, now I did miss this bookshelf in the back here, so unfortunately there is nothing in here. Sad. I have a lot of food on me. But that's it, I'm still missing that damn carpentry book. I have Expert Cooking, Master Carpentry for level 5. So I have the next book up, but I do not yet have the uh, last book I need in this series to get it. Oh, jeez. Zombro's out there. I should probably leave. Alright, let me close the door. Oh, hello. He spotted me quickly. Let me get him through this. There we go. Nailed his ass. I don't think there's too many houses quite yet, but we'll just keep following the road south until we meet up. Check behind me, because they might come approaching from there. Alright. But yeah, it was very intricate in what they were showing for that, how the uh, with the original Erosion mod, that when it first started out, he had a specific guy working on a lot of the pixel art for it, and then he ended up... Uh, I think disappearing off the face of the earth is what he said, if I'm not mistaken, or just, no, that wasn't it. He had to quit because of other job reasons, so he could not continue to make art for it. So, uh, the lovely uh, mashed potassium, or I think it's mashed potato or mashed potassium, I can't remember either way. Sorry, I'm always messing up her name <laughs> on that. But regardless, the pixel artist for Project Zomboid went and did some brand new pixel art for uh, the Erosion mod and Seasons, so each tree type has like, not only does it have three different stages of growth, but then it has three different stages of growth plus a new type for each season and then for each tree. All in all it said, I think it was something like, oh god, what did he say? 780 new pixel arts for the erosion mod, or for, well, the erosion implementation into the game, which is ridiculous. Good job, Ash. Good job indeed. And everyone involved, as a matter of fact. And uh, they also showed off some of Seasons, or at least some screenshots of what Seasons would look like. Uh, Winter looked really cool. Uh, seeing the kind of, you know... And the interesting thing about it as well is, with the way the Erosion mod worked before, essentially you would... Or the game would, say, check at the first of spring, and then all trees would just be like, done. It would snap to the uh, new color palette for every single tree. Now, with the way they have this working out, it'll be more of a gradual change. So, say autumn is approaching. We'll start to see, like, a few trees turning yellow and red, and then, you know, a couple weeks later, all of them will be yellow and red. And then, eventually, uh, they will... Oh, someone's screaming in the distance. And then, eventually, it would transition over to winter with, you know, snow starting to rain down and collect around on the ground and such. If we start getting, like, big snow drifts and such that slow us down, that would be great. I would love to see that. Not really finding anything mind blowing in here. There's another pistol. There was some pistol rounds, but eh. I'm not as interested in that. What have we got in here? More nails. No interest. Alright, let's bounce. Getting hungry. Go ahead and eat some. Let's see here. Eat some cheese? Yeah, sure. Let's eat some cheese. Let's eat a full thing of cheese. Om nom nom nom. All right. Let me see if I can kind of edge myself down here. Uh, check that house down there. Looks like a nice house. 
I'm not sure how much farther down this direction I'll go, though. I should probably start heading northwest soon. Back towards the uh, main town. Yeah, probably right here, actually, I'll start heading northwest. Let's see. Oh, we do got a zombie in here. Let me actually go through. Open up the door here. Oh, shit. Actually, there's two of them. At least two of them, too. There's one down. Got her. Alright, got them both. Hopefully they'll stay that way. Okay. Come on, baby. Nope. Disappoint. Disappoint. Ha. Oh. oh, well, this rotten food. Ketchup is still good. Yay. Who would get unhappy? Well, honestly, if, if anyone ate just plain ketchup, I'd imagine that would be... That would definitely be something that would make you unhappy. I'm sure there's a couple, there's, a few, I mean, there's always at least a few people that could do that and not dislike it, but yeah, no. I am definitely not one of them. <laughs> it's like those, uh, it's like those people that, you know, just take an apple, or take an apple, take a tomato and eat it like an apple, you know. Just can't quite do that, but hey, for some people, it's delicious. Everyone has their own preferences. What do we got in here? Nothing. Alright, time to bounce. On to the next house. Up and over. Man, I am getting tired. And severely depressed. I'm about to find some depression pills here soon. I'm gonna keep searching, especially in each of the uh, bathrooms to see if I can find any. Something to deal with this damn depression. It'd be nice once we get NPCs and can actually have, you know, conversations or something with them to deal with those mood swings. Bath towel. Skirt. Nope, nothing. Alright, let's bounce. Oh, hello. Better finish her off. She's gonna follow me if I don't. Got it. Oh, sadly she had nothing for good loot. No, I'm not really seeing anything beyond this, but we'll just have to head to the road and look around. Oh, wait, don't I know this house? I think this might be close to the warehouse. Clear. Alright, looks clear. Hello. Bookshelf, but nothing on it. That sucks. That really sucks. Uh, I'm beginning to doubt that I'll ever find that bloody book. I swear, I've been searching for it for three episodes now, and I have still not find the, found the damn thing. Not even remotely. Ugh. Disappointing. Bloody hell. Alright, I gotta go back and check my crops here this episode. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna end up losing them, I'm sure. Someone got eaten. Where the hell am I? It sort of looks familiar. I don't recall this being here, though. It's definitely a bunch of storage lots and a door at the end. Let me kill all the zombies to the door and I'll smash open the door. Got him. Nothing good on him. Sadly. Sadly. Let's look around here for a second. It is getting late too, so I'll have to pass out here quickly. Looks like she spotted me. This axe is going to be going soon. Hopefully this thing will be open. I won't have to... I didn't think so. If that had been open, I would have been, su I would have been quite surprised. Okay, I am very tired now. Severely depressed. Nailed it. Oh shit.
dish towel. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep in here. Well, you know what? No, we're gonna wait. Nothing in here. Close it. Huh. I've never actually been in here before. This could be new, or it might just be I've never noticed it. Ooh, a tent kit. Oh, hell yeah, I'll take a tent kit. That sounds awesome. It's kind of cool that we actually have a kit for it. I'm assuming that's what I would have crafted if I'd found a tarp. Got her. Hello? Bag of plaster powder. Probably go in there to chill for the night. Oh, looks like I destroyed it. I should probably equip a new one. Looks like that axe finally ended up getting destroyed. Alright, we'll take this from my backpack. Equip it, and we're good to go. Come on, baby. There we go. Now I'm armed and dangerous. There still does not seem to be a, a way to open those outer doors, though. It's been that way for a while. There's no real switch or anything to open them. There's a back door. See, I can't really right-click them or nothing. The only way I could possibly get in there, I think is if I take a sledgehammer and bash the wall down, essentially. That's the only way I'm going to get into these little areas here, like this. I don't even know if they're populated with loot because of that. I mean, what's the point in uh, adding loot to a place that you can only access by, like, taking out a wall? Okay. I'm going to leave this one open right now as my progress indicator. It's still a bit early in the evening, but you know what? So be it. Ah, oh, I can actually repair it. Hmm. I'll close that. Go ahead and sleep. Sure. I'll move the broken axe into my backpack in the morning. Lovely. Getting cold. Let's see. Oh, not too bad. This is not 3 a.m. again this time. 6. Oh, good. We're getting to a decent time now. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's put that away. Go ahead and eat some beef jerky. Om nom nom nom. Okay. Let's go check, shall we? I can see there's light switches inside these places. Like, I can see inside here. Oh, hey, this one was open. Whoops, I just now noticed that. Watering can, a trowel. Can't flip that light switch, though. Either that's because the power is out, which I think it is. Or it just doesn't work. Because they did, they did manage to fix a lot of things like that. I mean, there was a ton of uh, of switches that just didn't work. They didn't trigger any light sources, which was kind of annoying, actually. I mean, what's the point of having the switch there if it's not going to do a damn thing, eh? Uh, what do we have over there? I don't think that's an interesting place. I'm going to kill this zombie, and we're going to go this way. Let me go check over here quickly in this little house. I don't expect much, but if it's got any, uh, let me take a look here. Any bookshelves? No, it doesn't look like it has. You're really gonna come after me, aren't you? All right, let's do this, girl. I don't want you following me all the way home. And it's about time I head back. So, goddamn, really sucks that this is the third time I've looked for that damn book and I just cannot find it anywhere. I may have to go check up my crops and then maybe make the trip to West Point. 
Muldrog seems to be a bust. Eat this beef jerky. Alright. I'm just gonna kind of, uh, you know, waltz my way over here. Yeah, she spotted me. That's okay. It's like a lot of crappy small houses over here. Probably gonna be infested, though. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, well, let's clear them out and hope for the best. This will be the last section of houses I do before we get home. Or head home, at least. Another one bites of dust. I definitely can't wait for those seasons to get added in, though. It looks really, really cool. Nice. First try. And no alarm. Yay! Ooh, a doll. Do I want to collect a doll? I'm already collecting the other things. No, I'm not going to collect that. I'm collecting enough things as it is. Alright, we do have a bookcase. Carpentry for beginners. Not what I'm looking for, but... Nice nonetheless that it actually found something. Vitamins, toothpaste, vitamins. Oh, that's a nice looking house. We see about uh, thinning out the horde. And I will approach that house. Come on, girl, we ain't got all day. Waltz your way over here. Thank you. Damn, Zambas, wasting my time. Don't lock on me. Yeah. Look around. We're clear. Advanced trapping. Hmm, I'll take it. Never seen that book before. Let's see here. Duffel bag. Nothing mind blowing up front. Nope. Moving on. Nope. Moving on. Nada. Disappoint. Alright, let's bounce. Up and over. So I'll slaughter a bunch of zombies. We'll check out these houses and hope that, well, this last place will have what we need. Charge. There we go. Go down, you asshole! My god! How many times must I bash you in the face? I have got to increase my accuracy on this thing. Oh, you prick. I kind of want to smash it, but I don't want to attract everything by doing so. This place is going to be a bust, too. I just know it. Let's see. Duffel bag and a pistol. Expert cooking. Eh. No, I already have that. I actually think I have it right here. Yes, I do. Hmm. Bath towel. Not a damn thing that I want. Oh well, on to the next house. Ooh, I can see a book a bookshelf in this one. Cough. I like that the fast guys seem to be a lot easier to knock back now. They used to be so persistent that they I would just not be able to stop them. Ooh, we got several actually. Oh, this might be my place. Cooking for intermediaries, farming for beginners. Fuck. Expert trapping, master trapping. God damn it. I just want my book, man. I just want my book. Uh. 
<laughs> Why do you hate me? Why? God save us! That would be the church. Which means I might... Actually, is that the storage depot? No, it's not the storage depot. That's the, uh... What the hell is it called? Or not the warehouse, I mean. That's what I was trying to say. Yes, the warehouse. Unfortunately, that is not the location. I don't think. We'll have to see. I believe it's farther to the southwest, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what we got here. Nothing. Nada. Ooh, rubber ducky, rubber ducky. Nice. Add that to my collection. And that's all she wrote. Let's go. Uh, right then. Oh, wait, no. That might be the warehouse, actually. Yep, it is. Holy crap. Alright, man. Shit's gonna go down now. Woo! That was interesting. We got some painkillers. Let me eat something. After a fight like that, we deserve to eat something. Let's eat this ice cream. We eat all the ice cream. Oh yeah. Totally deserve that. Alright. Usually this warehouse is covered in zombies, so I expect it to be. Ooh, earbuds. Wonder if I could actually use those for something. Like, if I can get... I should definitely be able to find some kind of, like, MP3 player in the game. That would help increase mood. You need, uh... You need earbuds to listen to it. Oh, wow, he nearly cheated me there. He hopped over the fence and instantly started uh, started biting me. Little wanker. Got some agile effing zombies here, man. So, this is the other warehouse in the game. Well, one of the couple, but still. This is the other warehouse I used to visit a lot for my initial items. It's just that the one up to the uh, far northeast became far more accessible in comparison to this one. This one's usually just swarming with zombies. Incredibly difficult to get to without getting killed. Especially if you're still looking initially for weapons. You're not going to have what it takes to get in here and take this place. Let's see if it unlocks. I didn't think you would. Now, there's two different windows in this thing. But this is pretty much the only one right here that I can access without without destroying a window. Nice, made it in. Sweet. Let's see what we got here. Flashlight. Some duct tape. Broccoli seeds. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to find any books in here. That's not typically what you find in this place. Just, uh, seeds, tools, stuff like that. Nice try, chick. Ain't gonna happen. Ooh, box of nails. I'll take that. I do so love finding boxes of nails. More shotgun shells that I do not need. I'll grab some broccoli seeds, sure. Sure. Why not? But I think I'm seeded out for now. I'm good. I already got enough seeds to drown myself in as it is. So I'll take nails. I'll take all kinds of stuff, but... As for most of it right now, I'm pretty much stocked up. Alright, so with this warehouse down, I guess we're just going to bounce out of here then. I'll have to hope I find it in the other place. Let me trade you. Broken axe for a working axe. Anyway. I do love the tunes that they uh, made for this uh, game. They've done a fine job. Alright, time to leave. Let's go. 
There is one house across the way here I can visit. Which I haven't been to yet, otherwise I would have uh, found this warehouse. I would have recognized the house. Oh yeah, I forgot, they changed it so you can't jump the fence here. Ah, it's freaking annoying. Die now. Thank you. Thinking, do I really care to go in there? No. No, I don't. Hop over. You're really annoying me. Go down, please. I'm just gonna knock her down and then run. I don't really need to screw around with them zombies right now. So you have the church down there. And a couple of houses over here. I should be outside of their notice range now. Luckily the zombies cannot hop that fence just like I can't hop that fence. Which is a shame, I should be able to, I mean, it's not like it's difficult to climb that kind of fencing, at all. Oh great, that's going to attract everyone. Open up. Hmm, nope, nothing. Let's check back here. Advanced Carpentry, that's the level 3 one. No interest. Nice bathroom. No items that I need. Alright, let's head outside. This is the house I was thinking of. Really nice little house. Oh shit, no, he spotted me. Let's go ahead and pop this window quickly. Hop in, close the window. Although I did just close off my escape route. Uh, escape route. Cough. So hopefully I'm not going to regret it. Master Carpentry, level 5. God damn it! Ah! Stop taunting me, you bastard! Wait, have I been in here before? I might have. I might have actually passed through this one. And I didn't realize it. Yeah, I think I did. I just didn't realize that this was the other the place that I was at before. Alright, time to head home. I'm sure most of my crops are nice and withered by now, though. Sadly. Because it hasn't been raining much, and I haven't been taking care of them, so... Oh man, so easy to dodge these zombros. So easy! Now let's see what's up ahead here. We do have a house in the background here. Over on the right as well. I'll take a shot on the left here. See what we got. You never know. Advanced carp tree level 3. Not the one I require. Oh, this one's got a couple shelves. Lovely. Let's go take a look. Nothing. Mm, advanced trapping. Got it. Ha! Oh, I swear to God, I think that was just removed from the game just to irritate me. Man. Well, not really, but still Blarg. Blarg it all! Close curtains. Alright. I'll have to sleep here for the evening then. Okay. Apparently I can't click on the bed to sleep on it. This is awkward. There we go. Took a while. Yeah, I'm sure all my crops are going to be hurting by now. Shite. Now, ah, well, what can you do? Pet 
peckish. Eat some cheese. I'll have to drink something on my way out, if I can even. Let's see. Looks like I can. Water's still flowing. Lovely. Fill empty water bottle. Didn't even know I had one. Go right ahead. Ah, on to the next house. Oh shit. That was a surprise. You just came out of nowhere. And he was a fast bugger too. I had like a split second to react to that guy. Alright, open up. We got two people in this house. Or should I say two of what used to be people? That was easy enough. Fishing for beginners. Haven't found any antidepressants either. Hmm. I think, well, this is as severe as it gets, too, so at least there's that. Can't get any worse, but it ain't getting any better. Oh, God, I am surrounded. Oh, shit. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, shit. This is interesting. I haven't been in a situation like this for a while. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, fuck me. I think I found where all the zombies were partying. Holy sweet Jesus, I am in trouble. Woo! Oh, dodged. Dodged like a pro. God damn, they really want a piece of me. I wonder if any of these motel rooms are interesting. Not really, as far as I can see. Locked. What the hell? Lovely, I've trapped myself in here. Hmm. Mm -mm. That's not good. Luckily, we have a back exit. Ha ha! Suckers! Oh, geez. No, they're everywhere now. Oh, damn. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just run. Let's just run home. And now it rains. Really? Just as I'm on my escape, it rains. Vacancy. Good old Wi Fi. God knows we need our Wi Fi. Shite. This part of town is always freaking infested. Like, all the time. Okay, fuck it. It's not worth chilling here. It's not worth chilling there and getting killed. She nearly, nearly caught me there. It's a nice little house.
You really have to die. Oh, son of a gun. Wow. I am just constantly being chased right now. Oh. I would like to get them off my back for a second so I can search these houses on my way up. But they really don't want to let me. Oh, this is just a small attached house. You know what? Fuck it. Come at me, bros! Okay, fuck that. Fuck that, and run. I see two bookshelves. Let's see if I can get to them. Open up, open up, open up, open up! Yes! Get in. Close the door, or close the window. For the love of God, you better have what I'm looking for. Ah! Rage! Rage! So much rage. At least you have double rubber ducks. You are now forgiven, house. You are now forgiven for having that. Wait, let's see if we have... we do. Try myself. Wet bath towel. Put that away. And eventually those towels are actually going to dry. Oh, and I went and stretched the screen here. My bad. Whoops. <laughs> oh, lovely. There's the attorney's place. Surely an attorney would have a bunch of books. Oh great, here comes Chopper Brigade 1. Lovely. Those assholes. Always flying over and never coming down here to help us. that is irrapably loud. I apologize for that. Let me crank all this down for now. Because unfortunately they're going to be hopping around here for a while now. I mean, geez. All they do is piss off the dead. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. The attorney is out. Please die and have a nice day. I mean, if they, if they were, like, launching missile strikes or something against the zombies, that would be great. But no, they just fly around and piss off the dead. That is their job. Wow, I even have the volume cranked, like, way down and it's still ear rapingly loud. Open up! Open up! Come on, you bastard! There you go. I have it down to like four. Get in there! Beta blockers. Fuck it, I'll grab it. God damn, that is your raping. Expert carpentry, no fucking way. Finally. Finally. Finally! Holy shit! Ugh. Took that freaking long. That freaking long, but I finally found expert carpentry. And then I get surrounded by a thousand zombies. I could swear. It would, it would, the game would do that to me. The game would totally, totally do that to me. Thanks for riling up the zombies, assholes!
I'm really hoping that I actually I actually le asked Lemmy about this at one point that uh, the military would have some kind of oh sweet fucking hell like the military would have some kind of presence in the game itself they wouldn't just be flying over constantly that they would actually you know land drop off troops to you know scour the land of zombies or something like that holy crap that's a lot of fucking zombies going that way Looks like most of them have passed now. Hopefully. Alright, let's run it. Yeah! At least in this in this instance, though, they did clear the path for me. They did clear a nice path for me. For the most part. Alright, let's haul ass. No holding back now, man. Just run. Run, damn you, run! Oh, fuck, here comes Chopper Force 1 again. God damn it. Those annoying wankers. Let me go ahead and drink this. Ah, oh, Useless bastards. Get down here and help me, damn you! You assholes! Brains! Brains! I'm one of you guys! Hmm... Yeah, it'd be interesting if you could, like, signal, uh... Maybe an SOS, like, put an SOS sign down on the ground and chuck a flare or something down, or a smoke grenade, and have them, like, when they, when they pass by like this, and have them drop off, like, a care package or something like that would be, would be badass. And now someone's firing off a rifle. Hey, maybe the military has come! Yay! At last! The one thing I wonder is, though, is how, the, how would the military react in a game like this? Like, what, what path are they gonna take? Is it going to be a save the civilians kind of thing? Or is it going to be a shoot everything that moves kind of thing? That ain't wearing army colors. Alright. Go, go, go. Hopefully the crops will be doing well. It's been a while since we've been back, so... I'm hoping it won't be, uh... All withered and dead. Hopefully we'll have some stuff to harvest when we get back there. God knows most of the stuff we have in the fridge is probably rotten by now. I'm sure that cabbage won't stay fresh for long. But yeah, literally, you only need to plant, like, one cabbage patch, like, every two days, three days, I would say. Probably every three days. Once every three days, and that would be enough to supply you pretty much everything you need. For food. Alright. All that corn in the field's probably rotten. Which is funny, because it takes, it takes months of the corn staying on that one on months, but still, it, it takes a long time with the corn staying on the stock to rot. So, that's a bit unrealistic in a way, but hey. Alright, let's go ahead and head down here. Alright, Duck Squad, you guard the premises. Duck Squad 1. Drop that. Drop that. Perfect. Nice. No one's going to take this place now. Alright, before we go inside, let's go check up on those crops, make sure they're good. 
Oh, wow, they look really nice. Of course, one of them did wither. Looks like one of them is ready to harvest. Flourishing. Still doing really well. Yeah. Looks like these tomatoes... Oh, they're seed-bearing, too. Nice! I better harvest all these quickly. Go ahead and harvest seed-bearing tomatoes. And looks like it leveled my... Uh, Oh, here they are. 17 tomatoes. Look at that. Just two of them. Two of them got me 17 tomatoes and 34 seeds. Is that not ridiculous? I mean, holy crap. Let's see here. We got seed-bearing potatoes. Now, of course, the good thing with potatoes is, as well, they are a crop that lasts a very long time. As long as you keep them, uh, keep them in a certain way. I believe it's, uh, what is it, keep the dirt on and keep it in a uh, cool, uh, dry place, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, maintenance, accuracy for blade, farming level, we'll invest a point in that. I'm going to read farming the next farming book before I finish this up here. So we go inside and put all this stuff away. Eat a fresh tomato. Of course, it's not going to stay fresh for very long. Let's go ahead and eat a bunch of these. And here I said earlier about eating tomatoes like an apple, and now here I am. But then again, in the zombie apocalypse, one does not complain. In the zombie apocalypse, one eats what one can, and one is glad to the, for that. Alright. Yep. Looks like there's all the cabbages. All the cabbages have already rotten. Every freaking one of them. Great, not to take them up individually. I hate that. Rotten processed cheese. I'm assuming it's the whole batch. Yep. I assume correct, correctly. Cough. So I definitely wish they would adjust that before the uh, official release of these of the game. You know, obviously cabbages are a green crop. They it doesn't last that long at all. Once you picked it from the ground, uh, potatoes last quite a bit. Broccoli lasts a very long, a fairly long time. Before going bad. Wow, we got 102 potato seeds. Whew, not bad. And I'll drop off the tomatoes. Yeah, look at all these we have here. Man. Gonna have a lot of delicious meals ahead of us here for now. Let me go drop all this rotten food in the rotten food room. Next thing you know, they're gonna have like zombie... Uh, Zombie plants coming alive and attacking us here. Or not plants, but uh, crops. For all this rotten stuff I have here. Piled together. 23 rotten cabbages. Ouch. That hurts. That hurts. It's too bad, though. I can't actually just leave that plant alone for too long. If I do, it'll still just go bad. So I'm not going to be planting much more crops. I just did that. Of course, as I said before, the only reason I planted this many crops was to raise my farming skill. And that's it. That's the only reason I planted this many. I should have harvested all those plot, all those crops, though, until I had gotten my farming skill boosted. That was a mistake. But we still have plenty left, so that's okay. Okay, so we need farming level 3. Did I bring that one with me here? Farming level 3. I do have that on me. Good. So in the morning, I'll head outside so we don't increase my depression, and I will read Advanced Farming. Okay, go ahead and read that. Let's speed up time here. Until that's read, it gives me my multiplier. 
and then I'll harvest a few of the crops. Enough to get me a level, not enough to... Well, hopefully I won't have to finish, like, harvesting them all to get my third level. Goddamn, it takes forever to read this book. And then I'm going to spend most of the evening reading the other book. <laughs> Funny like that. But hey, at least I'll be able to get my max uh, carpentry here now, pretty much. I have both books, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So I can start working, get some serious shit done. It's going to be great. Let's go ahead and harvest. That gave me a level. And another level. Holy crap. Let's eat these tomatoes. That'll get my hunger up. Harvest. Nice. Let's see about the info on this. Flourishing. It's got mildew. I now see exactly what it takes this. I see it's a receding tomato. It was last watered a long time ago. It was stunted, so it didn't work out. It just died. But yeah, this one actually has a disease, mildew. I don't know what it does or how long it takes to max out. You can see the water levels. Probably because the water levels were too high. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like I have to harvest all of these before I'll get what I need. There we go. Level... I check the info on you. Last time watered, fertilized, has 88.7 health, no diseases. Current growing phase is 7 of 7, and it doesn't tell me when the next growing phase is, so when it's going to rot, pretty much. It's not going to tell me. So let's go inside. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. It's a lovely house. Actually, let me crank the... Sorry. I've had the uh, volume, like, way down because of that freaking chopper. Goddamn chopper. Alright, let's drop a bunch of these. The good thing about it, though, is I got so many seeds from this that I can, again, plant a bunch of crops for that. So, something like, you say, uh... Every, like, three days, I could drop... Or not even that, like, every four days, I could drop a single crop of tomatoes until all those are gone. And so on and so forth. And that would allow me to have more than what I need. And I could just eat tomatoes all the time. It's the only time to really do it and not waste. But I do want to get my level up to, uh... Well, three isn't bad. Three is not bad at all. That way, even every four days, if a crop fails, I still have more than enough. I would even say every five days is good enough. Let me eat this tomato. Head back upstairs, nap again. When we wake up in the morning, I'm going to do the same thing, except this time we're finally going to read that damn carpentry book. Oh, thank God we found that thing. I've been waiting for so long to find that effing carpentry book, and we finally found it. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna call this right here for now, for today. Uh, we finally got that damn book. We're gonna read it. We're gonna party. It's gonna be amazing. And then I'm gonna start uh, building up our wall section. We're gonna wall this whole place in. It's gonna go around my garden, back around to the shed, and then back around to the house. And this place is that it's gonna be completely walled off, and I could pretty much, you know, take out, or not take out. I could. Uh, board up the doors, board up everything, and I'd be good to go. So let me go ahead and exit here to the main menu. We can listen to the uh, epic uh, starter tune here. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, there's old Kate and Bald Spot. Man, I can't wait to play that again. And of course, there's yeah, there's the Bald Spot itself. <laughs> I like that they actually put that in this, you know, starting screen here. Again, I've been a guy who's played this since the original Alpha Tech demo release like years ago and it's nice to see that they're gonna be getting a comeback I can't wait to see when they do here when the NPCs get released it's gonna be it's gonna reinvigorate this game so much to have those NPCs back in man anyway thank you very much for watching guys have yourselves a great one and I will catch you all next week for some more Project Zomboid where we will read the book start construction do some more farming although we'll do a little bit uh, more restrained farming this time around <laughs> anyway peace out guys See y'all later.